All right, guys, so we're gonna build a go-kart. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna take you guys through the whole process. This is my first go-kart, but I have no experience in welding. I have no experience with go-karts. We have our Predator 212 engine that I just picked up from Harbor Freight. Let's make some space. Let's pull the uh, governor off this bad boy. All right, let's do it. All right, the first thing everybody recommends is to pop the governor off it. We're gonna check out a YouTube video. I'll link the video down below. Let's get to it. clip at the bottom of this you hit it with a screwdriver really hard it kind of goes into the plastic and then you can just yank it out make sure you get the C clip the black piece and then there's a washer behind it make sure you get that out as well I want to start getting the frame design built up and I have no idea how to do it so I'm just gonna do it right on the ground I've kind of got this design already started here with a few of the numbers, I just think it would make more sense to put it on the ground. So I'm gonna use this two inch wide drywall tape. So I've got my center point at zero, and I've measured out from there, and I'm just gonna use some of these numbers that I've already established to start building the frame on the ground. Perfect, but this is the overall shape that we're gonna we're gonna go for and I'm pretty excited It's looking pretty cool. We got the tires kind of etched in there Everything's to size so I just need the parts so I can lay it out and start seeing what all the parts actually look like and are actually sized like She's looking pretty mean Let's get it All right, our order came in we ordered all the stuff from bmicarts.com Let's go through what we got here. Um, I've mounted some of the tires and rims yesterday. I'll do one today and show you how it works. Axles, tie rods, steering wheel, motor mount, chain, chain breaker, bindles, air filter, hubs, brake kit, pedals, uh, cables, you have a sprocket, and then the rest of the stuff. A seat, some seat sliders, and then a torque converter to go with it all. All right, so let's put the tire on the rim. You're going to want to put the outside of the rim face down. Make sure you have your outside of your tire facing down. As soon as that side on. So once you get it to this section, you want to take this side of the tire and put it underneath the bead. There's a smaller lip on the inside of the rim. And you want to go ahead and set this bead underneath that and it's going to allow it to have the room to get the rest of the bead to seat. So let's go ahead and do that. Just push it down. There you go. Once it's set up like this, go ahead and flatten out the tire if you can. All right, well, I can't really flatten it, so let's go ahead and just throw some air into it and see what happens. So once the tire is slightly inflated, go ahead and try and make the bead as even as possible. Um, but I found you kind of have to use a little bit of force. So get your air compressor really, really compressed and go ahead and just fill this thing all the way up and the bead should snap together. So after watching this 
video, obviously I didn't know what I was doing at the time. Compressing your tires like this can be very dangerous. Generally speaking, brand new tires won't explode. I've done it a few times, but it is very dangerous. So just be careful. Um, I will leave a link down below for a tire band. That tire band will let you compress the outside of the tire and allow most of that pressure to go out to snap the bead on. So highly recommend getting one of those. Definitely do that. I have also used tie down straps to create the same effect where you're basically strapping the outside of the tire down. So you see the bead's gonna snap and we're set. these hubs mounted up to the wheels so we have our front hub and then our rear hub this one's got a ball bearing inside of it and this one goes straight on the axle these are going to get connected through to the center of the hub so let's go ahead and do that right now this is going to go on the back side of the wheel so if this is facing out you're going to want to go put it back here 